What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and this video is going to be looking at why Tottenham Hotspur are going to be a real threat in this Premier League season. And before we get into the tactics behind Tottenham in this up and coming season, check out both my books. There's links in the description below, but let's get right into the tactics behind Spurs. So as we know, Spurs play with a back three in possession. They go with more of a 3-4-3 shape with their two holding midfielders being crucial to their buildup and will show the flexibility behind the three center defenders and the two holding midfielders. Then we have a dangerous front three that are good between the lines, can really affect the opponents. So now as we move into the concepts and how they manipulated Southampton shape to then get goal scoring opportunities, we'll look at simple circulation of the ball and how on one side they shift flat and then as the ball goes into the right side we see an overload and progression to be attempted. So here the overload comes from the two holding midfielders staggering themselves, manipulating Southampton's man orientation from their two strikers and what we get is then an overloaded right side with a lot of passing connections supporting the central defender so they can either play their way out through pressure or they can exploit the weak side. And in this situation that we're looking at from Southampton versus Tottenham, Tottenham go with exploiting the weak side. So with loads of diagonal passing options and loads of movement between the lines, we have opportunities that if they were isolated on one side, they'd have the structures in place to then play through pressure. And if they were to lose the ball, they'd be in a good position with players around the ball to then recover and transition. But now as we look, when they shift the ball from side to side, they go through Hoiberg, the holding midfielder, and the crucial part on why Tottenham will be so good this season is the ability and flexibility from their central defenders in their back line. So as we know, Conte, he's adapted their central defenders, and by having three, they are more flexible. They're adept at playing in the wide areas and moving wider to then help manipulate the opposing team structure and pro progress the ball. So here as the ball is shifted across the field, we can then have our jumping central defender progress the ball through the half space and create a progressive situation entering the final third. So even as the team recovers defensively, we have a situation entering the penalty area now. So now we have the cutback option or the direct cross into Harry Kane and him and Son. So now this is just one sequence of why Tottenham will be so good. And these patterns, they'll only get more and more efficient. And with Conte's ability to structure his team defensively, I think they'll be very, very dangerous. Let me know in the comments below where you think Spurs will finish and who you think will win the title this season. And I'll see you in the next one.